Hello, my amazing artists. Today we are going to create a digital mandala on mandalagaba.com. Attached to this assignment, I have more YouTube videos about mandala. I also have some free coloring sheets that you can print and color as well. A mandala is a geometric figure representing the universe in Hindu and Buddhist symbolism. Mandala means circle. Ancient Hindu scriptures depict mandala as a period of creativity, a powerful existence, and a symbol of deeper connection with the self and the universe at large. Common titles for a mandala is Om, which is the sound of the universe. You will create your own mandala using the website mandalagaba.com. Here is what I created on that website. So if I type in mandalagaba.com, it shows up as a blank canvas. What I'm going to do is look at the different symmetry line so I can add as many as I want so let's go back to two those are two symmetry lines I can add three four five six seven eight as many as I want I used ten nice even number now underneath are the different radial lines and I will show you the difference between these we have the draw tool the line tool the paintbrush, the fill, and the background color. I also have an eyedropper and the undo button. Here is where I change the size of my lines. I have my color wheel, my value scale, save and share, and new session. Those are the options on my left hand side for my artwork. So what I'm going to do is go to the background color and um, to the value scale. I'm going to turn my value all the way down because I want my background to be black. And when I press that paint bucket, it creates my background as black. You can make your background color any color that you want to start with. I have to turn my value back up again because I want my colors to be very bright and neon on my mandala background. For this lesson, I will ask you to use analogous colors, which are colors next to each other on the color wheel. So that's the colors I am choosing for my artwork. And I'm going to start with my first color. Mandalas start in the center, so when I start to create my design, I start in the center of my lines. And I just click and drag and create a line design. I can change my brush size, I can go and change my color, and continue my mandala design. dragging and clicking. Now if I change to the mirror option, I prefer this option better than the double line because it mirrors in every section. For me, this just creates a more even mandala. And if you notice, I'm building onto my first line. So once I start a new line, I'm using those guidelines and I'm just creating curve lines or diagonal lines. It kind of starts to look like a flower. You can create whatever designs you want. I'm just helping to give you guidance as to what you can create for your mandala. And I'm just going to keep building this mandala 
until I like the way that it looks. I can also draw in between my lines and shapes. Again, if I don't like something, I can go and undo it. Now that I have finished my mandala, I am going to go down to the save and share button. That's how I will save my work. I click on it, it loads and downloads, and it will give me an image that I need to click. There's also a link. So just make sure that you click on that image. And it will save file to your computer. Press OK. And there probably is a download option, which mine is now downloading in my right hand corner. I can click on it. If I double click on that new download, it will open. And I can save my image to any file that I want to. I suggest when you're titling your artwork, title it with your name and your grade so that I can find your artwork better if you are sending this to me through email. So then I can write my name, maybe even give it a title, and then I can save it to that file that I created for Art Online. I had a lot of fun creating this project and I hope that you do too. I cannot wait to see what you send to me and if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Have fun creating!